Good morning and welcome to this coverage of the National Football Championship for the Santosh Trophy 2023 from the Golden Jubilee Outdoor Stadium in UPR, Arunachal Pradesh for this Group B encounter between Delhi and the defending champions Karnataka. Uh, last season, uh, Delhi did upset Karnataka at the Ambedkar Stadium in the qualifiers. So now all eyes on this fixture that features the defending champions as the road to the final continues for them this morning. It's a misty uh, morning out here in Arunachal Pradesh. Excellent weather. Here's the Delhi side warming up to the likes of Vivek. Jaydeep Singh Dhruv going to be instrumental for them. And Mohit Mittal, of course, the spine of the team. His inclusion was the game changer for Delhi last year during the Santosh Trophy qualifiers. And when asked about the preparations and the season, the head coach Vikrant Sharma was very optimistic. He said the team is quite positive and confident for their first game. And so this is the side put up by Delhi. Not too many changes in the starting 11. Milind Negi gets a look into at the right back position. And Vikram Sharma continues with his 4 2 3 1 formation. A lot of reliance on Dhruv Sridhar and Jay Jagdeep Singh up front. And they'll look to keep things tight at the back. And after the retention of Vikrant as their tactician, uh, Delhi have included a bunch of good footballers gearing up in full force for this tournament. And now over uh, to Karnataka, the defending champions. They've set the bar high uh, this season uh, for the youngsters in the team. Had a month to prepare and they knew how difficult it was for all the players. A few of the players are really young and it is a huge challenge. They look sharp and are very confident and can see a lot of surprises in their gameplay this morning. They have retained most of their squad and the team has been together for a while now. It will be a novel experience though and challenging to play in these conditions. And almost a similar shape from their previous season. And watch out for somebody like Rashid at the number 12 Godwin. And Appu, with all his experience, will bring a lot of flair down the right. And the skipper Manoj Kanan at left back will look to provide the solidity at the back. And hopefully uh, from uh, Chris Rajan, the goalkeeper's point of view, he will have to keep away a lot uh, today. Uh, Ravi Babu have tried a lot of combinations at the back in training. But deciding to go with the centre-back pairing of the experience, Prabin Tigga and Nikhil G. All stars aligned here. Let's see which team has the last laugh at the end of 90 minutes. And Godwin Johnson, another name in Karnataka's starting lineup, along with Rashid and Vinit Venkatesh, all of them coming through the ranks of the Reliance Foundation Developmental League. And Godwin was also part of the Indian Arrows setup that competed in the I League a couple of seasons ago. A smile on the faces then as a fami familiar people interact in the field. It will bring you all the stories as well from this Delhi camp but it's all about uh, three points uh, since bombing out of the Santosh Trophy group stages last year. They need to breach that gap today in class and quality and what better than to do it now as they look to carry on with their charming dream of playing in the final of this tournament. It will be a big, big moment in their entire footballing history as it promises to be a scintillating Thursday morning. The Delhi were placed in Group B during the qualifiers this season alongside the heavyweights like Punjab, Odisha, West Bengal and Ladakh. They've managed to secure four victories ended their campaign unbeaten and qualified for the final round scored six goals and conceded only one and managed to keep four clean sheets they qualified for the final round by topping the group and with an unbeaten record they shocked the former champions Punjab 
by b defeating them by a solitary goal and held to West Bengal, who crashed out in the qualifying round to a goal-less draw. For the last time uh, these two teams uh, played against each other, it was at the Ambedkar Stadium back in 31st December 2022 when Delhi upset Karnataka by a solitary goal. On the flip side, the defending champions, Karnataka, directly qualified for the final rounds, winning the trophy last year after a gap of 54 years. And this was the first trophy for Karnataka, which had previously won four times as the princely state of Mysore. But after 1968-69, they won it five times. Now their strategy is to win and that will be for every game. They have the luxury of plotting different strategies for the season. And we'll try to be on the front foot and do everything to win regardless of who is available. And so the officials leading the teams out of the tunnel. And Ravi Babu will look to find a way, it seems, and he's found a set of players that follow that way. And what's more, he's seemingly able to carry the burden of expectation. But it becomes difficult to carry when results do not go your way. And the likes of Vishal and Satish to step up and make a statement this morning. Karnataka look better on paper but the head coach Ravi Raju will be the last man in the stadium today to take this for granted. Vikrant Sharma will be telling his players to leave behind the previous results and start afresh. Arunachal Pradesh have taken a point of mighty Goa last night and that performance has inspired a lot of teams in the tournament to start believing in themselves and fight till the end. Oh, what a lovely day. Absolutely glorious uh, conditions. Slightly misty. As we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. A great consequence in this part of the country. And talking about uh, this for a while. Absolutely rolled up to it in a fantastic numbers. And these are the match officials. The referee in charge, Ajay Krishnan. Uh, supported by Manimuthu Pillai and Bapi Das. The fourth official, Rohan Das Gupta. And the two skippers, Jaydeep Singh, will, who will be leading the lines for Delhi. And Manoj Kannan, the left full back of Karnataka. A chance for both the teams to showcase that. This is the requirement of the hour for Indian football. And what a platform for them to show what they are made of. And even if few of them go off and have a great career, then it is a massive, massive success. As it looks like it, if they play the football the right way, many of them will go on and have a long career, uh, whether it is in the Indian Super League or abroad. It really got better with each game in the qualifiers and cautious start. And that draw against West Bengal where they looked very confident going forward. Uh, but the game against Karnataka last year was quite a shocker. We saw a very different side. And they showed a lot of character in that particular game. Every single player, every tackle, a lot of high fives, a lot of possession either in that game. But they made sure they grind out result. And talking about Jaydeep Singh, the number nine, always gets into scoring positions. He scored a couple of hat-tricks. Uh, during the group stages last year. It's important to keep the focus and get into the game with a positive mindset so that they can trouble uh, Karnataka. They won't be an easy team today uh, because the lineup looks a strong one. The team's uh, getting into the huddle. And Vikrant Sharma, a very experienced coach. He always prefers a 4-2-3-1 system. Mohit Mittal 
and Sinam Singh, the two holding midfielders, will live to stabilize the center of the park. With the Vivek, Vivek Kumar slightly ahead of them, forming a midfield triangle. And Jaydeep Singh up top will be flanked by Siddharth to his right and Dhruv Sharma to his left. Uh, that is how Delhi shaped up for this one. So we are underway then with the first game of Group B. Uh, Delhi needs to start well by throwing down the gauntlet against Karnataka. 2,156 kilometers away from home and setting the standard right. So kick off here at the Golden Jubilee Stadium. It could go either way. But Delhi needs to make it go their way somehow. And what is that way will be answered in the next 90 minutes. But Delhi all in blue. Operating from the left to right of your screen. And Karnataka in maroon and yellow. Like Meghalaya, Karnataka have also lost some important names from last year, like Robin Yadav, Beke Oram, and M. Sunil Kumar. Here is Vikrant Sharma. He was with the United Chirang Duar in, back in 2022, and also a technical director of Rajasthan United in the I League. Started his coaching career with a Delhi-based Hindustan FC and Rangers Sports Club. The squad has many youngsters with a balanced mix of experienced players. All of them very strong and ready to compete. An early stutter in the game, Dhruv Sharma is down on the deck. Getting involved early on into a challenge with Godwin Johnson. Karnataka looking to build make the first constructive move of the game. They know what it feels to have a champion manager in their dugout. There's Manoj Kannan, their skipper. And out now to 4-3-3. Uh, from Ravi Raju, Chris to Rajan in goal, Mrinal and Manoj, the two fullbacks, uh, Prabhin Tigga partnering Nikhil in the heart of defence, Satish, Vinit, Venkatesh and Vishal forming the midfield three and the front three of Appu Swami, Godwin Johnson and Rashid. An early foul committed just near the center circle. Is Delhi in possession? A shot from distance. Just warming his gloves early on. Chris to Rajan. The attempt from Jaydeep Singh is a very prolific scorer. Karnataka managing to retain the champion manager Ravi Babu Raju. Expectations will be certainly high. There will be more pressure on them as they are the defending champions but are confident of doing well and take one game at a time. They will be looking to repeat their last year's performance but are now champions and will give them a tough fight. And all the teams will be eager to do well against them. Man to man, man to man, man to man. 
There is Mohit Mittal. He played for about 335 minutes in the I League third division for Garhwal Football Club. And Neeraj Bhandari though. Picking up a knock. The man from Uttarakhand. And he's played for Garhwal as well in the I-League second division. He was also part of a Delhi FC and during the second division campaign. Mohamed Akib. Vivek Kumar. He spent most of his career playing in Kashmir for Lone Star and now for Hydra Sports in the I League third division. Had stints with the MP based Madan Maharaj as well. Here is Vishal. On to Vineet. Manoj, Apu Swami. Good one, good one, guys. Yes, Milan, follow Karna. Milan, follow Karna. Good spell of possession from Karnataka. That's much, much better. Three options available inside the box and almost poked towards goal. And Satish Kumar just not managing to find the right connection inside the box. A great cross in. A touch at the near post. Just a guide on towards the number nine. Just missing it completely. A chance goes a begging for Karnataka. It could have been a crisp start. But Delhi still haven't found an outlet in terms of the raw pace of Sridharth and Dhruv Sharma. Still haven't had an opportunity to play it on their run. And here they come now. Sridharth sets up for a shot. And Sinam Singh They're not getting enough on the ball. There's that little step over. Just laying it off for the number eight. Lady Bright. Lady Bright. Yes, and I'm seeing from Manipur, another Sudeva Delhi product. Plenty of them, in fact, in this Delhi team. And that's a much better route to go out wide. Satish Kumar challenging Milind Negi. Nothing comes off it. Attempt taken by Rashid. He's got a couple of goals in the Reliance Developmental League. It comes from Nilambur. He was with the Bengaluru FC reserves. Ashish Sibbi in between the sticks for Delhi this morning. Here comes Karnataka, the 23 year old. He has a one clean sheet in five games in the I League second division for Sudeva this season. Now he's got space to exploit. Uh, Vivek Kumar trying to make his way through into the penalty area. A cleared away by Karnataka. Another high cross inside the box. Chris Rajan uh, clutching it down. He wasn't under any compulsion. Kerala boy. 
played for Kerala United and Padapur. Currently with the sporting club Bengaluru in the third division. Trying to find room for the shot. Deflection falls to a maroon shirt. That's a good looking ball. And the attempted cross is put behind for a corner. And that was a great run from the skipper Manoj. And the cross just touched out by Swidart. During defensive transition, and just helping out at the full backs, talking deep, making numbers present inside the box, They're trying to outnumber Karnataka in their atta attacking third. Ten minutes on the clock. Karnataka have already had one glorious opportunity. Can they produce another one from the corner? Not quite. It will be re-delivered inside the box. Spreading it out wide. Vinit Venkatesh, another Reliance Development League product. The youngest member in this Karnataka team. 18 years old. Rashid CK, of course, is 19. Satish getting into a battle with Milin Negi. That's wasteful. Karnataka just looking to tie things up at the back. It's probably in Tigga. was very impressive in the I League qualifiers for Gujarat based RIFC uh, Prabhin Tigga was part of Chennai and reserves plays his club football in Karnataka as well for Bengaluru United solidly built Karnataka in action. This time down the right. Asking for a handball. They're pressing ahead aggressively. He's just trying to force the Delhi defenders into mistake. Here's Brinal. Robin Tigga. Nice one touch a movement. They've got a lot of bodies piling forward and a mistake from the goalkeeper. And luckily that wasn't on target. We'll have a look at the action replay. Well, the keeper almost at sea. Maybe wasn't expecting it to come directly at him. It kept low. And butterfingers from Ashish Sibbi. Off his fingertip in the end and out for a corner. Vinit Venkatesh with the second corner for Karnataka. Prabhin Tigga was interested. What Milind and Akib lack is muscle and strength. They make up with intelligence and positioning. It's a slight back four. Even Sahil and Neeraj are not tanks built to go through forward. 
slightly hasty on the ball, Delhi, not spending time on it. They are a side who likes to take a touch, likes to move and pass. But Karnataka just forcing them to run quick, touch it quick. And after losing uh, the ball, the men in maroon and yellow uses a gentian pressing, tries to press against the ball and prevent an oppositional uh, counter. And instead of transition into the ordinary defensive organization, whatever it may be, uh, the aim of getting the ball back as soon as possible and transition uh, from defending uh, to attack, still in preparation mode and still have some process to complete in order to uh, compete well. And Delhi enjoying a possession of the ball, 55%. Karnataka are advancing well and taking things one at a time. The whole squad, in fact, is excited for the challenges of the new season. This is a perfect platform for the youngsters, especially to so showcase their talent. Dhruv Sharma uh, can't get past uh, Mrinal, who stays strong. Back in the 20th century, the Santosh Trophy was the most prestigious a trophy in Indian football. International selection was based on performance in these senior national championships. A rookie forward Tulsidas Balaram and Zulfikar were selected for the 1956 Melbourne Olympics based on their outstanding performance in the 1956 senior national championship in Trivandrum, which Hyderabad won for the first time, beating Bombay 4-1 in the final. In contrast, the 66 Santosh Trophy held at Katak. The services winning it. <laughs> Delhi looking to make something happen. Turning out to be a good battle already between Mohit Mittal and Vinit Venkatesh. Game certainly lacking pace. And maybe Akuswami can add some. Good defending from Sahil. From Intigga. That's a good ball forward down the line. And looking for Jaydeep. The defender just closing him down. And the tussle continues. And now charging down the middle. And Satish Kumar. Just too far ahead of him. lot more protection Michael, Michael. Uh, to that back four provided by Mohit Mittal and uh, Sinam Singh. Michael, 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 yours. Michael, follow. Michael, follow. Michael, follow. Karnataka still Michael, 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 trying to destabilize that uh, midfield of Delhi. It looks uh, pretty settled and pretty solid uh, so far at the back. And apart from that one mistake, which led to an opening uh, for Satish Kumar, it has been pretty tight for Delhi in defence. Now 
now playing out from the back no progress forward Mohit going past one challenge Oh, the pass was in complete contrast to the work done before. We're talking about how it all began in the fifth annual general body meeting at the All India Football Federation at the Cricket Club of Bombay on 27 January 1941. A decision was made through which we saw the birth of the interstate championship in the same year but on a zonal basis to cut down the winners of each zone who played in the final rounds so in the inaugural year 13 teams participated and were divided according to geographical zones and some of the great goals scored in this tournament the forward from Mewalal to Baishuk Bhutia have played in the Senior National Football Championship for the Santosh Trophy and scored memorable goals. Yet to one of the best goals ever scored is not by the skillful Chuni Goswami, T. Balaram or Inder Singh or the sharp shooters like P. K. Banerjee, Julfikar or Sukalyan Ghosh Dastidar, but surprisingly by an international defender Arun Ghosh in the 1960 Calicut Nationals. The mighty Bengal was struggling against the tenacious Assam in the quarterfinals. And the match winner was like a bolt from the blue. The Assam defense partially cleared a Bengal attack. And as the high ball was landing, Arun Ghosh, facing, facing his own goal, executed it an acrobatic try, just like this one. And Karnataka opened the scoring. They were pushing and pushing forward. And finally, it paid dividends. Appu Swami it steals the lead here. And deservingly going ahead, Karnataka. In making amends for that the previous chance, which was wasted. A great move, making bodies available in and around the box and what a strike and look at the technique a reverse ball onto the number 11 between the two defenders saw the gap and just creeping it into the bottom corner right through the gap between the two defenders almost a tiny little window and maybe he practiced shooting through windows during his childhood the goalkeeper slightly got obstructed uh, by the presence of a few blue shirts in front of him. Delhi just looking for an immediate response. Vivek Kumar from a long way out. Ravi Babu with, will be happy. Just the kind of start he wanted. The Arunachal Pradesh Football Association in collaboration with the All India Football Federation organizing this event here in the Northeast. For the first time, the final round being played here in Arunachal. It's a momentous occasion for the state. Lining this one up yet again from distance. This time, Vinit Venkatesh joining in the party. 
and Ashish uh, continues to be slightly Kenny was in goal another mistake at the other end and Delhi equalize uh, through their skipper Jaydeep Singh Both the keepers uh, are slightly nervy. And that will certainly go down as a goalkeeping error uh, from Chris Rajan. And almost a gift uh, for the number nine. Uh, there it is. Uh, putting the ball just close to the goalkeeper. Uh, Chris Rajan. Go getting there first, but just bobbling it in front of Jaydeep Singh, who makes uh, no mistake. A perfect start to this game. A couple of early goals setting the pace. Jelly looks more interested. That's a fine touch from Chris Rajan. Uh, just from about 20 yards out, uh, pulling the trigger of Vivek Kumar. A favorable bounce and just testing Chris Rajan uh, from distance. Now Swidarth in corner duties uh, for Delhi. Uh, the India Sub Junior International, part of the India Under 16 squad. And that's too high. Still nodded back into the mix. Getting a lot of distance on the clearance. Delhi in rebuilding phase and that quick launch onto the left wing. Uh, Jaydeep Singh uh, was present. Uh, good to see both the strikers uh, getting onto the score sheet. Up to Swami first. And then Jaydeep Singh, known for his goal scoring spree. He can lead the line on his own. Speed is his main attribute. He's got great placement skills. Uh, that striker from Apu Swami was all about individual brilliance. And the Karnataka clubs just uh, setting an example of how to score spectacular goals. Followed by uh, the state team at a national competition. Four shots on target already from Karnataka. It's been a tough time for both the custodians. in a lot of effort in retaining most of the players also missing out on few of them uh, due to an injury sustained uh, during the state league the likes of Vinit Venkatesh and Godwin Johnson Rashid CK all filling in uh, getting exposed to senior level football saw them play at the Reliance Corporate Park uh, during, during the Reliance Foundation Youth Sports.
There's a word uh, from the technical area. Uh, the goal scored by Delhi has been awarded to the, the number 78, Vivek Kumar. And not Jagdeep, that's the confirmation uh, from the technical area. So it's Vivek Kumar who gets his name on the score sheet and not Jadeep Singh. The man from Hydra Sports. Used to playing in Kashmir, so quite familiar uh, with the weather conditions. Won't take much time to get accustomed uh, to the surroundings. That is what all top professional teams do quickly acclimatize there is that pullback and Munal Muthana made to work great link up play now Prabin Tigga comes across Solidly built. Uh, the number two uh, covers a lot of area in defence. Uh, resembles uh, David Lewis of Brazil in appearance. A throw in for Delhi. A very robust, no nonsense defender, Pravin Tigger. And always at the right place, the right time in defence. And now a shot on the turn. It wasn't e easy for the goalkeeper to collect. It came through a crowd of players. Also took a slight deflection in the way. But it wasn't substantial enough to bother. We saw those kind of attempts. Taking a wicked deflection and changing a direction the last minute. The keepers mostly get hoodwinked uh, safely on this occasion for Chris Rajan. And that too wasn't the case. Great vision, but an early challenge coming in. Uh, Milind Negi waited for his moment to time his tackle uh, perfectly. And this tournament just uh, continues to grow. Uh, continues to spread across the span of this massive country. We saw last season Riyadh uh, hosting the semi final and the finals. And Kerala the season before last. Uh, it was a massive success. Hey, come on. The God's Leave own country. Filled stands in most of the matches. And that was a back header inside the box. Could have gone anyway. A Vinit Venkatesh. Tried to turn it goalwards. It went wide. And the butterflies in the stomach slightly settling down for Ashish CB. Here come Karnataka. Uh, Vivek Kumar uh, moving upfield, uh, trying to control the tempo of the game. He likes to press as well when Karnataka is without a uh, possession. But relatively gets eased off inside his own half. The cross comes in. Headed out. It's recycled back uh, towards uh, Manoj Kannan, who made his entry inside the box. Just too high for him. Uh, 
Plains, a slightly higher line in defense, Karnataka. It has got advantage and disadvantages. Leaving a lot of spaces behind the defenders as well, for which the Delhi side will look to exploit. They're crowded out in midfield. Sinam Singh. Vineet Venkatesh. He's got Godwin Johnson ahead of him. Satish Kumar to his left. They're picking out the wrong option in the end. Appu Swami. The touched back. Passing has been incisive uh, from Karnataka in this half. On to the loose. In comes the ball. Attacking it on the left. Another maroon shirt. Uh, Milind Negi on the flip side has been pretty tidying with his uh, defending. Now Swidart. He's putting in a lot of labor, the youngster. Mostly engaged in defending in the first half. And Vikrant Gupta got to remind him, apart from helping his teammates out at the back, his job is to go forward and attack. You need to be an all-round player in modern football. You've got to be disciplined enough to play up and down the pitch, perform offensive duty as well as provide a defensive cover. And that is quite the requirement in modern football. And this is where he can be very dangerous. The keeper almost spilled it but collects it in second time of asking. And Appu Swami was dashing in. Of Rashid finding Godwin Johnson on the right. His attempt is saved by Yashish. And then smothering it in the second time of asking. has been made to work a few times in this half. Nothing at the other end from Chris Rajan. Just one mistake resulting into that goal from Vivek Kumar. Karnataka just looking to reorganize inside the opposition's half. It's with that. This time coming central. Losing out. Mohamed Akib. Just using the outside of his boot. Well, that pass straight into no man's land. A good pressure applied. And taken away by Karnataka. Not quite. 
A couple of tackles just flying in. What a ball out wide though. For Sridhar. Fronted by Manoj Kanan. Looking to take help from Rinal. And now running through the inner channel. In comes the ball towards the far post. It's still bobbing in the area. And close to it was Jaydeep Singh. They cleared away before he could get to the ball. The number nine. Just about four minutes remaining in the first half. It's one all between Delhi and Karnataka. You are watching all the live and exclusive action of the 77th National Football Championship or the Santosh Trophy. Only on FIFA Plus and on the YouTube channel of the Arunachal Pradesh Football Association. In case you are watching it on the live stream on YouTube, just spread the word in social media. This game also can be watched globally uh, through a FIFA Plus. Here is Jaydeep. We've gotten used to having more of the ball in that kind of a position. He can cause a lot of threat. The supply line has been completely cut off from midfield. Uh, which is why he had to drop back and help out in midfield and the ball retention on the flip side from Karnataka has been very quick and Manoj just creating enough of his shield on the ball just not committing himself early it has been an intense battle witnessed a high scoring fixture uh, last night uh, between Arunachal Pradesh and Goa Rahul scoring that late equalizer a high boot involved the referee just had to stop play Six goals involved in the last night's fixture. Even the game between Assam and Goa was uh, pretty entertaining. The number 37, Dhruv Sharma, found guilty on that occasion. Referee just controlling the game by talking to the players. No unnecessary stoppages, just allowing the game to flow. Ajay Krishnan has been absolutely spot on with his decisions. Another offside flag went up against Jaydeep Singh. Another Delhi skipper can change the colour and complexion of the game. A perfect box striker, but he's been devoid of service. Drifting slightly on the right-hand side. And that space vacant in the centre is occupied by Vivek Kumar, who's making that a surprise run inside the box. It's a very fluid uh, front three from Delhi. Difficult to predict which player moves in which direction. Keeps the defenders guessing.
both the teams likes to press high keep the ball in feet create those tiny little triangles those one twos a lot of energy a lot of verb involved while going in attack Venkatesh Vineet looked pretty comfortable with the ball in the first half. I haven't seen much of Godwin Johnson though. Almost creating problems with that press for Ashish Sibbi who manages to get the ball away. Additional time of around two minutes remaining of the added three. Now Jaydeep has got a lot of space and time. Ahead of him is Vivek Kumar, who leaves it uh, for Sridhar. A face-to-face -face, uh, with the number 12 of Karnataka. A ball delivered. Uh, cross is too high and should be a comfortable collection uh, for Chris Rajan. Mohit Mittal is slipping it through for Vivek. Takes it onto his weak left side. A falls for Jaydeep. A can't get past Prabin Tigga. He seldom lets anyone go past him. Always exceptional with his positioning in defence. And now close control uh, from Rashid. Uh, Delhi defense clearing the ball away a first time. They've really grown into the game after scoring that equalizer. The last 10 minutes of the uh, first half have gone in their favor. They've made the most number of entries into the final third. The crosses from the flanks. Winning the most number of physical battles in midfield. Close, Ravi Babu Raju, he needs a half time break more than anyone else. Just to reshuffle and rethink his game plan. Vineet on to Rashid. So half time then at uh, the Golden Jubilee Stadium uh, between Delhi and Karnataka. An early chance uh, for Satish Kumar. Well, the number nine failed to capitalize. But Appu Swami uh, from about 20 yards out heading their noses in front. Before Vivek Kumar making it one all for Delhi. So at half time, it's all square one. The first half stats 54 possession in favor of Delhi, 46 for Karnataka, five shots on target, four from Delhi, 13 shots in total. Delhi committing three fouls as well. So the opening game of the Group B. Uh, this is how the first half uh, panned out. A team in maroon and yellow, Karnataka, made a slightly slow start. Uh, Jagdeep. Testing Chris to Rajan early doors, and this was the moment for Satish Kumar. And this time, putting it into the path of 
Manoj Swami denied by that challenge. And this was the goal from Appu Swami. A brilliant strike from the youngster getting the return from Vishal. And just bending it into the bottom corner. That joy was short-lived before the Delhi skipper getting involved into the move. Jaydeep Singh with the minus. And Vivek Kumar turning it in. Then Delhi kept, kept on trying and trying. Rashid had a chance as well. Saved by Ashish Sibbi. Where Delhi did have a better sh share of the ball possession in the closing stages of the first half. So at half time it's Delhi 1, Karnataka 1. When we come back it's the second half.
welcome back to the second half uh, to this coverage of the 77th national football championship for the santosh trophy 2023 uh, from the golden jubilee stadium for this group b clash between delhi and uh, karnataka and karnataka making a change uh, right at the beginning of the second half the number 20 nirmal uh, singh bisht uh, comes on Satish Kumar had a golden chance though in the first half. His efforts were off target from a very close range. I just felt like Karnataka were having a vice-like grip when they took the lead with all the possession. But they've struggled to breach uh, that uh, Delhi defence apart from once. They wasn't in full control though in the first half. Uh, Delhi came back and were in complete control. In the last 10 minutes, uh, there were some moments now and then for Jaydeep Singh, some flashes of positivity uh, from uh, Sridharth when they were going forward. Uh, Rashid just taken off, uh, Nirmal being introduced. Delhi certainly can draw a lot of plaudits uh, from the first half's performance. Matching toe to toe with the defending champions. If they can uh, grind out a result uh, from this uh, particular fixture, it will do uh, their confidence a world of good. Now, they'll have to rectify their first half mistakes of losing the possession and losing out the midfield battle and put on a better show in the second half and probably attack with more verve and energy. And just underway with the proceedings of the second half. There's the confirmation of the change. Number 20 uh, coming on for Rashid. It's uh, Nikhil uh, Kumar. Here comes Karnataka early in the second half. Nicely gathered by Ashish. Nichols with his first real involvement in the game. Even though the skipper of Delhi, Jaydeep, has been a Delhi's primary provider and scorer of goal last season. That tells us enough about the creativity in midfield, but in terms of whipping those deliveries from out wide, it's a big, big job for the rest of the players it's today, especially for Sridhar, bobbing down the right. <laughs> the first ever golden goal in this competition was scored by Baichun Bhutia back in 1995 final at Chennai. Enabling Bengal to pip Punjab by two goals to one. And before the match, Bengal scored Syed Naimuddin gambled and dropped international midfielder Gunabir Singh and involved Baichum. Until then, Baichum had played mostly as a midfielder, a withdrawn striker. And Naimuddin noted uh, for his shrewd game reading. I felt that Baichum had the raise a sharp reflexes to be a top class striker and the young Baichu justifies this coach's faith and scored a memorable goal uh, the rest as they say is history in comes the ball almost a nearly moment the keeper has hurt himself Chris to Rajan uh, 
was pretty close uh, to the ball uh, was the on rushing uh, nickel the keeper just uh, getting there ahead of the number 20 by a fraction of a second and hurt himself in the process So now we'll have a look at the goals, two of them have been scored in this game, beginning with uh, this one uh, from Apu Swami, perfect technique, a top class finish, and then Jaydeep with a daunting run down the left, sending it into the centre, and an easy tap in from Vivek Kumar and good to see Ashish back on his feet and the other keeper Raj Kumar Mahato is on the bench for Delhi Ashish Sibbi is the first choice keeper. There's a Sudeva product that played for Sudeva Delhi in the I League as well. And a team relegated to the second division last season. That's a great touch from Cedar. Giving a tough time to Manoj Kannan. And the cross is just letting them down. Lacking in accuracy slightly. Yeah, the Karnataka side, in terms of whipping those deliveries in, yeah, most of them not finding the target. It's off the mark. This time it's a radial ball, making it slightly easy for the Delhi defence to clear. They've got a lot of height in there. Sharma had certainly come out with a plan for the second half. The first half in football is for the players. But it is in the second half where the coaches get their money's worth. It's all up to them how they read the game and make those tactical tweaks. <laughs> Technical director of Rajasthan Football Club, Vikran Gupta. All eyes will be on him. What he's got up his sleeves in the second half. What plan he implements to get the full three points from this game. of them are pressing ahead and there's the advantage of playing in a 4-3-3 we've got three dedicated attackers up top evil wind defending almost getting caught in possession so Delhi got to be careful to try and not overcome it. If Karnataka win the ball back, they can punish them. The chance of them getting overwhelmed. If Karnataka likes to attack fast. Down the wings and through the center. The what players the suits the that kind of a style shaping up for another shot from distance straight into the holdings 
Now there's a replay. Takes a look up and max it. It's from 25 yards out. Over the top. Pravin Tinka's header. Nikhil stepping in. And away from Manoj. Intercepted by Sahil Kumar. And he launches it long. Jadeep is fighting for the ball with Pravin Tigga. The latter coming out on top. Another long ball aimed towards the run of the number 14. Minimal uh, Mutana. Has injured himself in the process. The number 37, Dhruv Sharma. He's got a couple of appearances in the Durant football tournament for Delhi FC. A part of uh, Delhi FC's I League squad as well. Still very, very young. Ravi Raju Babu. Just checking his watch. He wants his team to restore the lead. And Delhi just trying to frustrate them by playing a low block. By closing down the gap in the center and in the wide areas. Of forcing uh, Karnataka to take the aerial route and just to working the ball from side to side nothing from the middle just denying them space between the two uh, defenders Karnataka likes to play between the lines Delhi just likes to attack fast and direct. Probably in Tigger. A heavy touch. First time this league come knockout format was introduced in the 15th national championship, which was held in Madras in 1958. The Bengal emerged champions beating services in the final. Until Siddharth Balaram scored a brilliant goal after dribbling past a couple of defenders in the penalty area. On 6th March 1983 in Goa, captured the Santos Trophy for the first time finishing as joint champions with West Bengal and that was the only time the Santos Trophy has been shared between two opponents also the only occasion in which Bengal has hosted the Santos Trophy and not won it outright and the Govan skipper Brahmanand uh, gave a sterling display as goalkeeper both the final and the replay ended in a goalless draw. It was a proud moment for him as he went to receive the trophy on his 28th birthday. A few of them enjoying uh, this game. Free kick, uh, meanwhile, for Delhi. Yes! 
Mohammed Akif puts it in. Delivered into the middle. Then comes the shot. Just off the line. Low ball in from the left. And luckily, the rebound falls kindly for a blue shirt. Yeah, that was a fine chance of, for Delhi. It was headed back cross goal. And then that shot with the outstep. And Chris Rajan was called into action. Let's have a look at the chance from the free kick. It was nodded back across goal by Neeraj Bhandari and then that effort uh, from Sridhar using his outstep. And that's here from Manoj. A giveaway. Here comes Karnataka on the counter. To develop. He needs treatment in a lot of pain. The number twelve. Goodwin Johnson haven't seen much of him though in this game yeah, the youngster has played in the I League previously with Indian Arrows so one hour of play gone at the Golden Jubilee Stadium. Nothing separating the two teams. On his injury. He continues to play in this game. That's a fine ball and a darting run inside from Sridhar, almost getting ahead of uh, Manoj, uh, the goalkeeper just coming out in time. Yeah, an excellent ball and coming in from behind and just getting ahead of Manoj. The keeper saw the danger and quickly off his line. Almost flicking it into the path of a maroon shirt. Mohit Mittal over the top. Sabin Tigga. Very aware of his surroundings. Karnataka getting changes ready. They need something. The curve is missing, missing from their play while going in attack. Maybe that could change uh, via the number 20 Nikhil. They're running out of ideas. So the 
number 10 and the number 15 are coming on. Shelton Paul and Vignesh. Swami, the goal scorer, uh, makes way for Vignesh. And a good win, Johnson will be replaced by the number 15, Shelton. Like for like change. Ravi Babu Raju. Vignesh will operate now from the right. He can also play as a central attacking midfielder. We saw that previously. Can be deployed slightly behind the Shelton and Nickel. Takes it down, turns and plays it forward. It's just too long that pass for the number 15. A fresh leg injected by Karnataka. Just trying to up the ante. The other defending champions got to show a lot of desire while going forward. Delhi just uh, relying on the counter, playing a defensive low block, uh, keeping Jagdeep and Sridhar up top. Uh, both the strikers inside uh, the Karnataka half. A lot of reliance on the pace of Sridhar down the left. Karnataka making sure there's no breakaway move. They couldn't play the ball inside the box, Chuck Deep. Hey, Pravin Tigga just reading his intentions. Hey, Sridhar making his way into the penalty area and was asking for the return from Jaydeep Singh. A throw in for Delhi. Delhi they did it once with the final round by topping the qualification group with an unbeaten record scoring four wins in five matches uh, last season Delhi beat Karnataka at this fixture in the Ambedkar Stadium. Delhi just turning out to be a bogey team for Karnataka. Saw the rise of the football in the southern part of India. States like Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Kerala producing a lot of uh, talents, nurturing them. Just working as a supply line not only for clubs across the country but also for the India national side. Eating up in the ball possession, Delhi. A slightly heavy touch and capitalized by a, a blue shirt. Can't retain control for too long. Nice give and go. Slightly impatient in the final third, Karnataka. Yet to gel together as a team. Just the first game of the tournament for both these sides. We'll see them mature. We'll see them perform well together as a team as the tournament goes on. And this was the incident. Just colliding onto his own player. Just clattered to one another. Uh, Vikranta Sharma having a word uh, with his manager, Nagendra Singh. He 
must be looking at his bench and try to figure out the options he can bring on to change the game. He's got the likes of Bansal and Rishabh Dobriyal as options. Rishabh Dobriyal, a familiar name in case you follow the Delhi Premier League. He's been pretty superb with his decisions, Ajay Krishnan, in this game. No such highlight moments, but the game ebbed and flowed pretty well. A slightly tactical in the first half. And now, Robin Tigga is out of position. The Delhi front line clearly lacking in pace. All those precise exchanges among the Delhi players. Unnecessary chasing uh, from Delhi. A header it drops on the edge. Chance for a shot, in it comes. Just over uh, from Vineet Venkatesh. A third time in this game, he's done that from distance. This time with his, his side foot. And that was travelling and never came down. It's been a great battle uh, between the two head coaches, Vikrant Sharma and Ravi Raju. Both of them trying to tactically outmaneuver each other. Flash of pace uh, from uh, the right this time. Uh, the effort uh, from Vivek Kumar hits the side netting. A sudden burst of pace uh, from the number 78 who brought back Delhi into this game midway in the first half. It was a difficult angle. The goalkeeper also had that covered. I could have uh, played it uh, for Jaydeep, who was waiting in the center. But he was well within his rights to go all by himself. Well, the angle wasn't friendlier at all for the attacker. Need to get uh, this 50 50 decisions right uh, to leave an impact in this game to get the decision uh, going your way. Forgiving uh, weather conditions early morning kickoff. Just uh, helping the players to uh, dish out uh, their best in the field of play. We'll quickly have a look uh, at the two goals scored in this game. Uh, this was the first one. The clever uh, ball towards the number 11, Swami. Opening the scoring for Karnataka. Before this happened, Chris to Rajan just spilling it in front of Vivek Kumar. Uh, Delhi hardly needed a gift, yet they were provided one by Karnataka. Praveen Tigga on the far left for Manoj. Vinit Venkatesh lost sight of the ball. Good recovery. And outnumbered, and three maroon shirts racing through the center. Went all by himself, saw the keeper slightly off his mark, trying to catch him off guard. Ashish looked slightly nervous and edgy in the first half.
That's a challenge from behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number 15. We're getting away uh, with the challenge. Uh, lucky enough, uh, the card wasn't raised. A hefty challenge on Vivek Kumar. There's that extended right foot. Getting more of the man than the ball, and Nikhil. Well, the previous set piece it did did cause a lot of issues inside the Karnataka box, led to an opening. Mohammad Akib, the previous one from the left, this time from the right. Another chance, almost of falling into the path of Swedert. Another set piece routine. Just needed the defining touch. Uh, taken away uh, by Nikhil uh, right at the last minute. Last ditch defending. Uh, saving grace for Karnataka. He pumps it on the left. He will get there with his pace. Sridhar uh, trying to get down the byline. Uh, Minal was firm and now the Karnataka race away Vignesh is on the ball he's got a couple of options ahead of him creates space for the shot keeper spills it and the rebound is saved as well by Ashish a double save uh, from the Delhi custodian uh, keeping Karnataka at bay the ball just bouncing ahead of the keeper uh, creating a seed of doubt in Ashish's mind and the rebound turned away as well. A good reflex action uh, from the goalkeeper. Just within a space of few seconds, making a double save. Uh, you can assess uh, the confidence in his body language. Looked slightly subdued in the first half. Uh, but those uh, two back-to-back -back saves would give him a lot of confidence now. Uh, just a quarter remaining in this game. Vinit Venkatesh, a lot of height on the corner. Mohamed Akib. Uh, trying to get the ball clear. And getting his far away from goal here is Akib forced to play it quick no way forward for Delhi look at the way Karnataka pressing the Delhi the centre backs occupying the half spaces compelled to play it over the top, uh, Delhi. They're getting numbers, they're getting bodies forward. And Delhi will be happy even with the draw. But Karnataka needs to enhance their reputation of being the defending champions. They need a Midas touch. A double change uh, for Delhi. Uh, Bansal uh, will come on. Uh, so as Himan Shurai. So that's that uh, for Dhruv Sharma. He will be stretched out. 
Bansal replacing him. Uh, defend, defender Himanshu Rai also comes on. Vignesh. The blue shirts are quickly converging on him. A great fake from Jaydeep. Threatening run uh, from Sridhar. Mohammad Akib onto his weak side. It's just deflected away by Manoj Kannan for a corner. Coming on for Vivek Kumar, the goal scorer. In comes the corner, and no damage done. And just about uh, 10 minutes of regulation time remaining in this game. <laughs> Defending from the front, Delhi. Shots on target from Karnataka in this game. It could be another one, almost lifting it up at the back post. And none of the maroon shirts managing to get a touch on that. It was clipped towards the back post, looking for Vignesh. And the ball just evading the number 10. Karnataka looked the better side in the second half. Eight shots on target. A five from Delhi on the flip side. Plan this move this time uh, from the left. And nicely taken down. And then the delivery. And the call came in early uh, from the keeper. A brave goalkeeping from Ashish. He is growing into this game. After a slightly slow start in the first half. Uh, that double save. And it is confidence a world of good. And Jaydeep getting involved in an aerial battle. The defender winning it. A cut out high by Karnataka. And Jaydeep once again on the ball. And delivered inside the box. Easily dealt with uh, by Karnataka. A chase on from Vishal. It's 
Boston il Kumar Clears another player lying down injured the referee just seeks for medical intervention uh, Vinid Vinkatesh, his right boot and making contact He's injured his knee. Uh, that's Bansal. Yet to justify his inclusion. <laughs> Minutes a tick by for both the teams. Karnataka definitely will not be happy uh, with the draw. That's advantage for the defender. And not on the same wavelength as the two attackers. It was a bright idea. Just could have started his run half a second early. Would have gotten there. A pretty solid performance uh, from Prabin Tigga on the other side. Some desperation from Delhi. Still not managing to get to the feel of the ball. The Karnataka just have plenty of them in the closing embers of the game. of games uh, coming up after this uh, Manipur will also be in action against the railways two former champions uh, Moinuddin uh, coming on uh, for Karnataka another footballing hotbed uh, Manipur the play next at 2.30 p.m. kickoff against railways and Maharashtra take on Mizoram in the last uh, game of the day. And that's an evening kickoff. All the matches live and exclusive only on FIFA Plus and on the official YouTube channel of the Arunachal Pradesh Football Association. A clever touch. With it offering that run, he's got Mrinal to deal with. Uh, those two looking to combine uh, Sinam and Sridhar. Uh, both of them have got telepathic understanding, uh, comes from the same state, speaks the same language. So that chemistry always helps in the field of play. Combining pretty well within the game. Yes. Making his height uh, to good use. And shot from the edge. Uh, that was a decent hit uh, from Himan Shurai. Uh, the defender uh, continued to stay up quickly onto the loose ball. 
It was a chance, a half chance rather for Delhi. And now Jaideep. Yet again foiled by that challenge from Nikhil. He's been pretty quiet in this game. Relentless in possession, Karnataka. One back by Vignesh. The hustled off the ball in midfield. Nikhil gazing for options. Vishal on to the left. Cuts on to his right. Where the cross was scuffed completely. Where the Karnataka defense sees it away. Shelton Paul. Between the lines for Nikhil. They're getting involved in a physical battle. And now Vignesh. Combining with Satish. Back to Vignesh. Chance to shoot. Takes it as well. And straight here to Ashish. And seven minutes added on. Still time for Karnataka. To grab a late winner. Yeah, those two combining in the final third, Satish to Vignesh, his attempt and straight at Ashish. Manipur against Railway is also going to be a very a big clash of this group. Thangjam Saran Singh in charge of Manipur. Starting his uh, career as a head coach. The Thuna Santosh Trophy. It's going to be a good experience for him as well. Surely going to keep an eye on this game. Uh, there's that uh, side volley blazed over the top a decent attempt nonetheless going to be a booking it seems like the assistant coach has been booked Exchange Sridhar off target. From a long way out, I had only one option there to go for goal. Available for the pass, Satish Kumar. 
22. The captain play nicely. Vignesh riding the first challenge. And the misplaced pass. The Delhi goes long. Robin Tigga once again on top. A trip from behind. A free kick for Karnataka. That was a clear push. Just about three minutes remaining. Uh, Delhi pretty happy with the way uh, this game has gone so far. They're looking to grab one crucial point uh, from this fixture. Hold him, hold him, hold him. He's Jaideep. Away from the Karnataka skipper. A chance here for Delhi and the referee points to the spot. And the number 19 was nudged inside the penalty area. Bunsel holding on to the ball. Just for too long. Just drawing that foul. Expecting uh, someone to bring him down inside the penalty area. The skipper Jaydeep Singh initiating the move down the byline. And Nikhil committing that foul inside the box on Bunsel. Just a delay in releasing the shot. Expecting uh, Nikhil. Uh, to go at him tight and the number four just falling into the trap the Delhi make another change Lamlian the number 77 is Sridhar will take this spot kick we saw a late equalizer uh, last night Will there be a late winner in this fixture? The man who hails from Manipur, the youngest member of this Delhi squad, ready to take the penalty. A slight stutter in the run up, the keeper goes the right way and he makes the save. Heroic stuff from Chris Ranjan. What a save. Just guessing the right way. Just not managing to hold on to his nerves. Sridhar. And the youngster has missed the penalty. Chris to Rajan. Uh, providing uh, Karnataka a big, big let off. Now the men in maroon and yellow, they breathe again. Cross comes in. Now the keeper getting something on the ball. Pravin Tigga. Karnataka goes all, all guns blazing. Beautiful setup in the center. Delhi defending deep and defending pretty well. Sridhar looking for a quick turnover. Door opens up down the left this time. Jaydeep waiting for options. 
uh, to arrive inside the box. On the overlap is the right full back. It flashes across the face of goal. A lot of power on the cross. Just lacking in accuracy. Now the last few minutes have been very entertaining. They're very dramatic as well. Already out of time. The referee just allowing the minute to tick by. A Bansal uh, was fouled. Just adding on uh, those a few crucial seconds. Prabin Tigga. Uh, physically, he's been 100% in terms of winning challenges. Aerially as well. A towering presence. And that's the full time whistle. Uh, Delhi and Karnataka share spoils here. Uh, both will be happy uh, with a point. Uh, Karnataka had uh, the better chances in the second half to take the lead. Uh, Delhi came closer. In added time, a via a spot kick, but Sridhar uh, couldn't deliver uh, for his team. Uh, the youngster will be extremely disappointed. Uh, Delhi very nearly causing another upset as they continue to trouble Karnataka in uh, the national level football championship for the Santosh Trophy. Are pretty close in terms of the ball possession. Uh, eight shots on target, seven uh, from Delhi. Uh, four, 12 shots uh, taken uh, by Delhi in this game, 14 by Karnataka. Uh, 26 shots in total. Uh, and five fouls committed by Delhi, four by Karnataka. It's been a pretty evenly poised encounter. Delhi will be happy with a point from this fixture. A Karnataka uh, certainly not. Uh, they were in the driver's seat at one point of time. Uh, calling shots uh, right uh, from uh, the word go. Uh, those wasted opportunities uh, from Satish and Rashid will certainly hurt them. And Appu Swami. Uh, with the only goal of this game for Karnataka. Just ad adjusting his body and bending it into the bottom corner. And Joydeep, who did set up uh, Vivek Kumar, putting it on a platter. Unlucky toucher from the goalkeeper, Chris Rajan. Danny just sneaking. Uh, the equalizer, Sridharth, with that dangerous looking ball. Uh, this was a save uh, from Chris Rajan. And early in the second half, uh, Delhi had their moments. Uh, Chris Rajan yet again was called into action. Uh, Vivek Kumar uh, from the right hits the side netting. Another Mohammed Akeep set piece, uh, causing a lot of confusion inside the box. And a double save from Ashish. Now, uh, this was the cross evading the number 10 of Vignesh. Uh, and then Himanshu Rai uh, with that attempt. Karnataka uh, kept uh, trying and trying and then Jagdeep Singh that moment of drama 
Uh, Sweet that they couldn't convert the spot kick. And Chris Rogers, without a shadow of a doubt, uh, has been Karnataka's hero in the second half. He's made a few brilliant saves in uh, this game. So overall, it has been a match of great proportion. Both the teams wasteful in front of goal. So as things stands at full time, it's Delhi 1, Karnataka 1.